Hey everybody, Spray Dog Billy here doing song number 836 in 836 days in a row. We started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020. And here we are, 836 days later, doing another one. We're going to keep on doing one song, posting it on my Spray Dog Billy YouTube channel. One song every day until the dogs coughed. Until homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed, euthanized in the shelters. When they fill up, they start euthanizing the poor animals who've been there the longest. Terrible tragedy. Conception control. Stop conception is the answer. We'll talk more about that after today's song. Stray Dog, that's where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy. Short for Stray Dog Bill Arnold. Co-founder of that No Kill Dog Shelter. We'll talk more about Stray Dog in a minute after today's song. This one is a uh, Three Dog Night tune written by Hoyt Axton called Never Been to Spain. Well, I never been to Spain, but I kind of like the music. They say the ladies are insane there. They show no art to use it. They don't abuse it. Never gonna lose it. I can't refuse it. Well, I never been to England. sanctuary we are a sanctuary because any dog that doesn't get adopted has a home forever now my first wife the late Pat Arnold and I started that shelter back in 1994 unfortunately that suffered a brain aneurysm in 2003 nine years later after we had founded the shelter and she became a and, and she actually passed on the next day. It was a terrible tragedy for all of us at, at, at Stray Dog. She and I had started that shelter, as I said, nine years earlier. It became a Texas nonprofit corporation in 1997 with the official name Stray Dog Incorporated, and that led to applying for and receiving from the IRS in 1998, 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations, all contributions to the shelter tax deductible. We are still going strong today at Stray Dog, still rescuing, rehabilitating, fixing, spaying and neutering, and adopting out formerly stray and other formerly homeless dogs, and then once in a while a cat when they come along. And uh, we're going to keep on doing this till there is no more overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world. We're now being led by my second wife, Juana Vasquez Arnold, who had worked for Pat in the earlier years, and she had to leave on business for a while and she, uh, when... Uh, when uh, on some family business and when she came back or when when pat passed on we called her up 
because Pat had always said she was the best employee she ever had. Anyway, we called Juana up, she came back and, uh, and started working for us and soon became the shelter director. Uh, Pat was right. And, uh, and, uh, and she's still the shelter director today. <clears throat> We're still going strong at Stray Dog, as I said. Now, all 3,500 animal shelters across this country are doing a tremendous job adopting out 3.2 million dogs and cats, 3,200,000 dogs and cats every year is the figure right now. That's the current figure, that many, that, that's an average of 8,800 dogs and cats adopted every day. That many are being adopted every single day. Tremendous accomplishment, all shelters, including Stray Dog, deserve our financial support for this tremendous accomplishment. Now, there's a very sad side, a very dark side to the overpopulation problem in the dog and cat world, and that is that we as a society allow the use of euthanasia to get rid of extras when shelters fill up. They have no more room. They have to start euthanizing the poor animals that have been there the longest. Terrible tragedy. How can we stop this in addition to more and more adoptions? Euthanasia is meant to be used for terminally ill dogs and cats and other animals so they don't have to suffer. Euthanasia is meant to be used for fatally injured dogs and cats and other animals, so they don't have to suffer. That's a good use of euthanasia. But we, as a society, allow the use of it to kill extras. Terrible, terrible tragedy this is going on. What do we have to do to stop it? We're still euthanizing today, 972 per day. 972 dogs and almost a thousand are being euthanized today, tomorrow, the next day, yesterday, the day before, almost a thousand per day. It was far worse. 10 years ago, it was uh, 7,000 per day. And 50 years ago, it was 41,000 per day were being euthanized, were euthanized in the shelters in 1970. Terrible, terrible tragedy that this is going on. What can we do? What do we have to do in addition to more and more adoptions? to stop it. Control of conception. Stop conception. Stop conception and the problem will end. There won't be any more extras to have to euthanize to get rid of them because they won't be born. Stop conception, everybody. And anybody who doesn't want to uh, castrate their male dog, get him a vasectomy. That stops conception. We'll be back again tomorrow with another song from the Straight Dog Billion One Man Band.